हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट रियाक्ट नेटिव सेवेंटी फाइव सो रियाक्ट नेटिव सेवेंटी फाइव जस्ट गॉट रिलीज एंड इवन आई हैव गॉन नॉट गॉन थ्रू दिस ब्लॉक सो लेट्स गो इट टूगेदर सो रियाक्ट नेटिव सेवेंटी फाइव सपोर्ट फॉर परसेंटेज वैल्यूज इन ली आउट न्यू आर्किटेक्चर स्टेबिलाइजेशन टेम्पलेट एंड इनिट अपडेट्स एंड मोर टूडे वी आर एक्साइटेड टू रिलीज रियाक्ट नेटिव सेवेंटी फाइव दिस रिलीज शिप सेवरल फीचर्स सच एज योगा थ्री पॉइंट वन विद सपोर्ट फॉर परसेंटेज वैल्यूज सेवरल स्टेबिलाइजेशन फिक्सेज फॉर द न्यू आर्किटेक्चर एंड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फॉर द ऑफ द रिकमेंडेशन फॉर यूजर्स टू यूज अ रियाक्ट नेटिव फ्रेमवर्क सो दीज आर ऑल दी हाईलाइट्स दीज आर द ब्रेकिंग चेंजेस लेट सी सिंस वी लास्ट शिफ्ट योगा वर्जन थ्री डॉट जीरो इन रियाक्ट नेटिव सेवेंटी फोर वी कैप्ट ऑन पोशिंग मैनी इंप्रूवमेंट्स एंड न्यू ली आउट कैपेबिलिटीज फॉर योर एप्लीकेशन React Native 75 ships with Yoga 3.1, and you can lo learn more about it in the new official uh, Yoga's release blog. So, if you don't know what Yoga is, it's basically like uh, the CSS uh, thing which we use along with Flexbox that is powered by the Yoga engine internally. So, Yoga is a rendering engine written in C++. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about it. So let's see one example with 0.75 the gap column gap and row gap props described here now supports a string with a percentage value so here is an example they have given uh, all right so let's see where it is so here i think they have used a column gap of 10% this is how we can use the percentage value i guess and here also they have used a column gap of 10% okay so instead of giving margin and paddings we can use something called percentage and here also they have given a row gap yeah this could be pretty useful uh, so yeah this is how the output looks like mm, interesting okay uh then percentage values in translation the transform prop can also now accept percentage as values for the translate transformation for example the following component would move the red squares x coordinate by 100% of its width and y coordinate by 100% of its height so yeah this is how you can use it and this is how it will be rendered new architecture stabilization since our announcement of new architecture been in beta at react conf we have shipped several uh, bug fixes and improvements to its stability our goal is for the new architecture to be con considered stable in the near future therefore in the last few months we focused on bridging the gap between old architecture and new architecture some example of bugs and missing features we fixed are fix adjust font size to fit text align not working with inline views and fix text baselines been moved up on ios uh, together with folks at expo we are working on adding information about the new architecture support in new react native directory so it will be immediately clear for you if a library supports new architecture or not so if you go to this react native library uh, directory it's basically uh, these are bunch of uh, libraries which are available and depending on that uh, you can sort it out which library supports new architecture or not so the i think they are going to add this pretty soon we also invite you to take part in the new architecture survey the survey is for us to collect precious feedback on the next steps for new architecture rollout we also want to share a post we publish in the new architecture working group about supporting ui manager in the new architecture this post offers an api overview of the ui manager api on android and how it can help the migration of advanced apps and libraries okay so supporting ui manager in the new architecture is there a so they have one github repo which they have created maybe if you are using ui manager i have never used ui manager not sure what it is used for uh, but yeah if you are interested you can go through this accessing jsi runtime in turbo model in the past there have never been a recommended way from native modules to access the jsi runtime and consumers would uh, work around the framework to do it in risky way in 0.75 we introduce experimental apis providing safe access to jsi runtime and we are happy to announce that stability in 0.75 again i am not really sure about this jsi runtime uh, i have never really used it but if you know do let me know in the comments what they are used for uh, so yeah this is how it is if you are you if you are on the ui thread and you need to access the runtime we have introduced a new api call invoker it consists of a single method invocation that will jump on the js thread to safely execute some work using the js runtime these apis are forward compatible on ios we have provided the protocol 
RCT call invoker module after confirming to the protocol our inf infrastructure will decorate the module with the access to call invoker again sorry i don't know much about this using framework as we have shared at react.conf earlier this year the recommended way to build a react native app is now through framework such as expo you can read more about the guidance on our previous blog post use framework to build react native apps we want to set up react native users for success we believe that using a framework makes you as productive as possible and offer you the best possible developer experience when building a apps to reflect those recommendations this version includes the following changes we move the template folder from react native package to a separate directory react native community template and we are sunsetting react native init command as of uh, december 31st 2024 so i think this is a big deal uh, because uh, even though they announced uh, expo uh, i was still using react native in it so yeah i think this could be a pretty way from react native package to a separate directory so maybe uh you we can still uh use react native in it but we will have to use this community template this the, uh, which they have given to bootstrap a new react native application so i i think we'll have to use npx react native community cli in it in it if you are already using a framework such as expo the, those changes won't impact you at all you will be able to use react native uh, 75 together with expo hdk 51 if you are not using a framework or building your own framework let's see how those changes will impact you moving the template to react native community template historically react native is used to ship a template folder inside the npm package which was used by the uh, community cli to create new projects so basically they are moving react native in it to this react native community template i don't think we'd have to worry too much about it but the recommendation from them is to use expo this mean updating the template quite slow as we needed a react native release for every template change with our latest recommendation to use a framework we feel that shipping an opinionated template inside our core npm package was not aligned with our vision therefore we decided to move the template to react native community template package this will make easier for community to maintain and involve the template without having to rely on a react native release for every change moreover this brings the template closer to a community cli and will make it easier for everyone to inspect and depend on the template as a separate package this change should be completely transparent to user who create new projects using the community cli from now on new issues related to the template should be reported on the template issue tracker okay all various tools that depend on the template such as the upgrade helper has also been updated accordingly and will continue working as usual sunsetting react native in it similarly uh, to the template the react native in it command was adapted to align with the new recommendation historically react native in it was the default command to create react native projects however in 2024 we feel that the command does not provide the same onboarding experience that a framework would offer you that is why we are recommend not recommending it anymore instead you use a framework like expo you can still use react native in it to create projects using the community cli and template today but you will see this following warning so here as you okay i had tried creating one project uh, and here you can see this init command is deprecated i am getting this error as well there was some issue with pod installation as well maybe this is uh, because this was just released yesterday maybe they will fix it or i will have to update something on my end not sure but yeah would be interesting to see how it goes ahead uh, starting from december 31st 2024 the init command won't create a project anymore you will either have to use a framework such as expo with its own dedicated command to create a new project or invoke the community cli directly with npx at the rate react native command cli in it please note that react native config and all other command then in it will continue working as usual auto linking performance improvement during this work in updating the init command we also spend time rewriting the auto linking logic to be more performant this results in faster build speed for both android and ios with react native 75 if you are using expo the auto linking step could now run 6.5 times faster on android and 1.5 times faster on ios you can read more about this improvements here breaking changes while this upcoming section seems lengthy we expect that the breaking changes here will mostly impact a small group of users that are using react native in more advanced ways 
so touchables in typescript cannot be used as type of generics uh, i don't know okay so user f touchable highlight i have never used something like this so i'll just ignore this for now as well as i haven't never used it like this as well uh, latest versioning okay mean supporting main sdk 23 main ios version these are not breaking changes per se but we want to share that react native will be 75 will be the latest or to support main sdk 23 and main uh, ios version of 30 13.4 starting from react native 76 main sdk will be 24 and main ios will be 15.1 i think that's fine then android gsi module has been uh, deleted the com dot facebook react bridge gsi module was an api that we temporarily introduced introduced to allow a native module to access the gsi directly on android the accessors of this api were deprecated in 0.74 and we verified there were no meaningful usage of this api in open source so we are removing it in 0.75 okay i have never i i don't think i have used this as well maybe uh, for native module communication i might have used it as an import i don't remember you can use turbo native module uh, instead as an alternative so yeah i have made a ton of videos on turbo native models if you want you can go through it uh, in 0.75 we are removing the remaining methods that were still in core show pop-up menu dismiss i have never used it as an alternative please use these uh, pop menu pop-up menu android component which lives in react native pop-up menu android package finalized push notification ios deprecation work in zero point we deprecated some api from the push notification ios module in 0.75 we deleted this APIs to migrate of legacy representation of notification metadata the apis that have been deleted are uh, did receive notification and did receive remote notification okay instead we use did receive notification community cli removal of ram bundle and profile hermes command we would like to announce two significant uh, removals coming from the community cli the commands ram bundle and profile hermes ram bundle command was introduced in react native 59 uh, let you run your bundles by loading them directly in memory this functionality is now superseded by hermes our default uh, gs engine you should not use the ram bundle command i have never used it i was not even aware about this ram bundle command the profile hermes command was a tool to help you profile the cpu performance of your javascript code this used the old uh, cpu profile format which is no longer supported in recent version of chrome's uh, introducing this capability as a standalone command is also something we are moving away from as we work on raising the quality bar of our debugging tools cpu profiling can now be accessed from the profiler panel in the experimental new debugger note this is not an access this is not accessible if you are connecting to hermes from home. i don't know what this is never used it other breaking changes code gen change slightly the name of pure c++ turbo modules generated class okay i have never used a c++ turbo module again not sure eslint config no longer run prettier when linting uh, c++ related changes i don't have any idea about all this i'll just ignore this for now text input remove deprecated on text input callback remove on long press okay so here they have removed some props so if you are using on text input uh, make sure uh, you remove that as that is deprecated same for pressability as well i have never used a component called pressability i know one uh, pressable which is a uh, uh, i think alternative to touchable opacity i'm not sure about pressability then react view background drawable uh, never really used it react context oh react context is deprecated are now abstract use bridge react context and bridge less react context instead delete react context dot initialize with instant please use bridge react instance instead uh, oh i think this will affect me in lot of lot of my tutorials um, yeah i'll have to see uh, what we can do about this remove bridgeless react context dot get javascript context holder from please use bridgeless catalyst instance remove uh, react context dot get runtime executor please use bridgeless catalyst instance support percentage flex gap values this changes the parameters of some methods like set gap set row gap and set column gap A runtime uh, then remove a react js exceptional handler 
dev support change the dev support again i have never used this measurement ui manager dot measure never use this as well then for runtime i don't know all about this image remove unused rct image loading puff instrumentation enabled error handling then this is for coco pods this is for text input then here react contains over 149 commits once from 165 contributors okay so these are all the name of the contributors uh, please use the react native upgrade helper to view code changes uh, if you use expo react native 75 will be supported from expo hdk 51 okay let's see uh, if there is any code changes so this was 0 0.74.5 5. I think they have still not upgraded it to 0 0.75 it is still showing release candidate 7 but I think that's fine by the time you watch it maybe 0 0.75 might be already available so make sure you select that uh, okay they have just changed the react react native version okay this is fine okay they have disabled privacy collected data types okay and here they have added all this stuff I'm not really sure Okay, this is a comment okay the gradle version has been upgraded uh, unable jettifier has been removed i think that is now by default uh, okay kotlin version has been upgraded supports right to left has been added and then i think these are all comments then auto link libraries with app hmm and here they have just updated the coco pods version i guess so yeah that's all uh, these are the new changes for react native 75 uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments thank you for watching bye